following a big story in downtown Greenville. The streets were packed today and will continue through tomorrow as people gathered for the second day of fall for Greenville. Our Scarlett Lizjack has more on the tastes and the tunes. On any other day in Greenville, you see cars on South Main Street, but tonight the street is filled with people for the annual Fall for Greenville Festival. It's that time of year. Oh, I love fall. Fall is my favorite season. I watch football and the leaves are changing, the weather's great. Love fall. Temperature, temperature, transition of seasons. Fall also brings one of the largest attractions for the city of Greenville. <laughs> So Fall for Greenville is like the biggest event in the Southeast to us. All our group of friends come out here. We get together once a year at Fall for Greenville and just have a good time. And the 42nd event is attracting folks from near and far. Uh, so we recently relocated from Brooklyn, New York, and it's our first time down here. And we've decided to come out and see, you know, what Fall for Greenville has to offer. I came from Charleston, South Carolina. I'm from North Carolina, but I grew up in Greenville. Uh, originally in Athens, Georgia. All gathered here to not only celebrate the season, but all the city has to offer. Definitely trying some really good food, getting some drinks, um, and then just mingling, meeting some new people, seeing some new faces. Honestly, to be real, just the diversity of food here. Um, having got a, to try a lot of different like ethnicity of foods, it's been really, really good. Definitely the music, music people. The yeah. Everyone's nice. It's, just, it's a great place to come, get away from weekend have a great time. So we took part in the rides, <laughs> some beverages, and now we're going to see what the Fall for Greenville food scheme is like as opposed to New York. So far, my favorite part has been the funnel cakes, but we'll see. <laughs> this year's event will feature over 60 restaurants and food trucks with close to 90 entertainers in Greenville. Scarlett Liz Jack, 7 News. And tomorrow is the last day of the festival. We'll pick back up at noon and run until 7 o'clock.